Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Hook Tusk showing off one of the one of the better final board states that I've seen in a long time. And this includes Nomi. It includes going infinite with elementals and all of the meme elemental line. And when you get to the end game and you have nearly infinite gold and you have gigantic Nomi scaling, you can make some crazy final boards. All right. Enjoy. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. Have friendly minions die for victim specter. Buy 12 minions is very expensive for anima bribe. It's not wheel. It is pretty cheap. The victim specter auto completes. We held minions in hand because it would have facilitated the quest so we know we win the round win or tie with him having a swabby start and going through round three interesting we can buy the pair and stay down now then we can level on normal curve or we can level and then we hear power swabby next turn if we get the triple then we take a five immediately I think this might just be a six though and putting all the minions on the board means that we should be able to, big should there, but should, be able to get Victim Spectre in three turns. We should be weaker than this guy too. So like, don't reverse order or something to get things to die. Turn four board, Sire Denathrius, normal curve. That's Jeef curve actually. We're not stronger than him. Never mind. Or we're not weaker than him. This is Jeep Curve. We need to reverse order to suicide. He is exactly our curve without a hero power. So like, we have more minions on the board than him. Unfortunately, Yoho does nasty things to his board and doesn't die in the process. All right, good. First Yoho suicided. That was not the hit. Boo. <laughs> If he was normal curve and he had three or four two stars, especially if it was a hero that wasn't Sire Denathrius that has like a hero power too, then they'd be stronger than us. Hey. So we could try to play Sewer Rat. We gotta hope that we're weaker than both of our next two opponents. But it's a copy of card in two turns. That's like the six star turn. All right, let's reverse order and try to get the the victim specter proc. Too bad this guy was really weak last turn. <laughs> We're too strong to lose. Oh. The plate of the battlegrounds player. Munka S. He's weak. Now we need nine to die next turn? That can't happen. Not unless we get another death rattle on the board. Heck, wait. <laughs> I mean, we can't do it all. We can't get nine things on the board. 
and so that we can get this to die and take two sixes. You could take a five and a six. <laughs> Monk ass, dude. Oh, man. All right, all right. I think we do it, right? This is going to happen. Uh, you're supposed to die, but whatever. Because now we just need six more to die here. You got this. Nice. We even get a second macaw. This about Prox Spectamid fight? Yeah, that is why we did it. <laughs> That's what we were talking about the entire time. That's why we spent the time and took the five. Oh, it's so genie. It is so genie. That is so Raven. Alright, we can argue hero powering something on the board and playing Jug. We can argue playing another Taunt to make it less likely that the Genie dies. We could argue for two gold and do both. So, hero powering this or this. Too bad it doesn't give two gold. So, we're probably playing the extra Taunt on the board. Reborn would achieve what? I mean, reborn, reborn's a macaw, but like the genie's going to be dead. So that doesn't do shit. Like, don't do that. Now you could argue keeping it for golden macaw reborn or something in the long run. But like, it's going to be dead before the third element or third macaw proc. Good. Good. Not to mention, already we're getting six elementals to hand. Good. Taunt more things. Beautiful. Good. Like, if we didn't have the other taunt, it's always dead before that point, right? Now, if we don't have the other, we had the other taunt and the reborn, then maybe we could have gotten three procs. And that was only because he attacked with a four attack minion in position one. Otherwise, it would one-shot the minion. To the moon! This is our lobby now. I guess I should do this first. You're funny. Not good enough. Mm, no. Mm, yeah. I like taunt. I like turtles. Reborn's cute yet again. Same logic. I like Nomi. I really like Nomi. But we gotta drop something from this board. It pains me, bro. It pains me. Be bigger. Just be huge. I gotta freeze this. That's funny. 
If we had the time to cycle two more through. Good. Good. We are so winning this game. Good. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. That's a bit of a high roll there you got, Bofer. Good for you. Should have killed him, too. All right. We got a lot of time or a lot of things to do. A lot of time necessary. That is a good hit. Let's try two. Naturally. Try to use the stuff early. Yes, no me buffs. Oops, I already used my reroll. Yes, no me buffs. But these things don't stay on the board. So like, I'm going to do this early. I'm going to look for the six to hero power. A six that I actually want to play, preferably. And I'm going to use you guys. All right. Poorly. We are so big already. Um, we can greed this harder now. Should have technically played that one first because you know, if you do end up getting stuck with it, it's a four, four instead of 11, 11. I will keep the taunt. Do we finally get the six? We did get the six, unfortunately for us. I'm going to play this all through. Oh my God. There's another Nomi. Got out of my hand. Get down. Freeze. Oh, didn't freeze. <laughs> Unfortunately, bad click there. We need hand space because hand space is just more things. Technically, I guess we only get to 12. So theoretically, one minion in hand would be redundancy if this genie doesn't die or something. There's a legitimate argument for that. Boomer? There's a lot of things to do in the turn, yo. A lot of things. Can't say I'm thrilled with the way that combat went, but whatever. Rip Nomi? Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. But it cute, though. We got to make some space because we got to pick up good things. I don't care about unbuffed ones, naturally. Why wouldn't I? We have a lot of rerolls. Gar is great if this was not a Murloc lobby. With it being a Murloc lobby, we need to play toward toward good things. These guys in triplicate. We just don't have enough time in this turn to be super efficient either. Like I'm going to keep you forever. I'm going to play toward the triples. Which means we're getting out of you. We're getting out of you. This is unnecessary. Like we're nearly unnecessary on the macaw as it is already. The selfless hero for the long term is super good. But the only things I'm keeping in hand are the things that we want to triple. Too bad we have to be efficient to this game. Otherwise, we can die. Murloc game, after all. Here, power sixes. I mean, we do at some point in the turn, but like, we already got the six, five that we were looking for. So, like, Little Rag's cool, but Little Rag's fairly unnecessary because all it's doing is buffing minions that we sell off the board for these things in the long run. So, if it's something that's not going to give us immediate value, then it's not really vet relevant. We're just printing 20 free gold or 30 free gold per turn. 
We need to play this game to get to these triples. The annoying part is if we generate a triple, it's not a buffed one from Nomi. So, like... Boo. All right, like, just, 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 like, get out of my hand. Like, just make this easier on me. There's one. Might as well take a few more buffs to it. It's not like we need that many free rerolls. Okay. Got to sell you through. Should have done that first. That's a 2-1. Or 4-1. The taunt is interesting. A little bit. Keep you for a moment. There we go. I don't think we try to greed further than that. Use you for the rolls for the next two boards. We're running out of free rerolls after all. Macaw's just about to be obsolete. Yeah, I'm just going to freeze this board, probably. This guy should be trivial, right? Fairly. Like, we can get out of Macaw. This gives six by itself. We don't have the hand space. Uh, also, if it triples the Little Rag, it's kind of annoying. That being said, I think the Little Rag is a one-turn inclusion on this board. We're holding a 125 health Mega Wind Fury, by the way. That's how greedy we are at this point in the game. We're just holding back a ridiculous amount of stats. Look at him live. <laughs> oh, he quit. I right, took 27 on his game. We have a desync issue. We did 22 on our screen. He did 26 or 27 on his. New patch, new bugs, let's go. None of these do anything. I just sell it through. Same deal with the Nomi here. Might as well take my stats up front. We can't really make use of this many rerolls. I'm going to pick up another one and we're going to go for another 200 damage cleave. Naturally, why wouldn't we? You can put this thing on the board to get extra minions, but once again, same problem as before. Now oh, we just have like infinite money. All right, we'll start prepping for the long term. Might take a minute to get this golden selfless hero, you know, but eventually we'll probably find it. This game sometimes, man. No, homie. Um, let's play selfless for the turn. We should be fine. I like you, know me. You can exist in the hand. You need to die somehow. Oh, <laughs> uh, we could have cycled one through, but we actually want these. We want all of these. We don't want Nomi technically, but whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's all poison skim. I, for one, am shocked. Too bad we went first. Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? We just need him to hit left. There you go. Hit third. Hit the left guy. Don't hit the worst possible options every time. <sighs> what the hell was this? What was this fight? How did we not lethal someone on a 97%er and then lose a fucking 84%er back to back turns? What is going on? 
All right, maybe we should commit our minions to the board instead of greeting them. I'm getting out of Nomi. God damn it. I hate you, game. We're looking for another one now. <laughs> you want what? Ghoul? Taunt giver? Wildfires? <laughs> oh, man. Should be fine for a turn, right? Then we cycle through Little Rag and we look for another one. Don't care about that guy. If he's not Murlox, I'm not worried about him. Like, Murlox is the only thing that beats us. This guy's not Murlox. Stats don't beat us. Do you even need the free rolls at this point? Yeah, it's way better than like some random elemental buff on a minion that doesn't stay on the board. We can reroll for Golden Ghoul and we can reroll for another Wildfire Elemental. Ideally, like three cleaves is going to be way better than our board state. Little Rag stats are fairly irrelevant, especially since we didn't get our, our extra minions. You could argue Baron is kind of obsolete okay game hey what's up there's the card we're looking for and then the re-rolls are are unnecessary sure we want re-rolls for the turn so that we can go find our golden ghoul don't really care about manted Boo. You want taunt? Probably not. Could not grab that minion. Alright, we put the cleaves back later. And Prage. He plays Ghoul to counterplay what we have on the board. That's a reasonable pivot for him. Not sure why he put Selfless Hero last. Oh, it's stolen gold. Because he knew it was just going to go off. No big deal. Cleave suck. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. At least we won this one. For some reason, I'm having trouble playing cards out of hand. Like, it must be just a little bit of lag with the server today or something. Because I keep playing cards and then they just like rubber band back in the hand.
right. So we lead small cleave with itself a second or something like that. Could argue cleave in the cleave, something like this. We could argue bumpers. Can't really play bumpers and cleave. Like this is good against his current board state. But we expect them to adapt, right? Here, why don't you get a little bigger? We could play through this slot, put down anything else. Like it's a big minion, but anything that's like 70, 70 does the same job. It's so like this thing is the same minion as this. Why medium cleave first? Cause it cleaves both minions, stats lies. Like 14 or whatever plus what they have on the board. As opposed to like, if this hit a 70, 70 and there's a 70, 70 adjacent, it wouldn't kill it. But the bigger cleave could do that. Now that being said, he wouldn't need to get like a 15, 15 buff to Murlocs for this turn for that to be relevant. Otherwise they're just interchangeable. So you might as well play around it if you can. Considering poison can't beat the cleaves. Like we got a billion things and we just, instead of playing for maximum stats, instead of playing for Gar and Little Rag, which you can see are just terrible against that final board. We just hard rolled for every cleave in the game. Wee! All the cleaves.